Hey guys, the Kmers here, and today I'm gonna make a tutorial, a tutorial on uh, how to remove elements or change elements in your uh, WordPress blog. So let's get started. Okay, so first step is to of course add a plugin. The plugin is called uh, Custom CSS, and I'll post the link in the description to the plugin uh, website. But I'm gonna go to plugins, add new, and then we're gonna search cus custom CSS. Boom. Let load. Okay. I think it's quite far down. It's right here. We press install now. And this uh, custom CSS enables you to add stuff to the uh, style sheet, the, uh, the CSS. So activate plugin. And yeah, it's here and it's successfully installed. Uh, let's just make sure uh, appears as uh, custom CSS. Yes, it's installed. So the CSS part of your website is all the uh, colors, fonts, text size, everything. And uh, you, we have to know how to code it really simply. So this is a really simple uh, tutorial how to do that. So in CSS, there are classes and there are IDs. And a class you declare with a period, and uh, for an ID you, you declare with a hashtag. So, for example, if I have a dot as a class, example, well, it could be any name. A curly brace says display none. That that's so. Let's say uh, let's use an example here that uh, my uh, paragraph element is class para one. It says hello, hello. Then, if I want to take this away, I will go to uh, my class dot para one curly braces display none, which basically tells the CSS to not display this element. And it's the same way with the uh, IDs. You put a hashtag before the name curly braces display none. And here we go. Uh, header one ID header two search whatever. And then to this, to to take this away, we do header to curly braces display none. So now on our website, let's put this into action. So first of all, we have to find out what the classes and IDs are. So let's say I will take away this probably powered by WordPress. It's really annoying. So I'm using Internet Explorer. Don't hate me for it. Uh, I believe all the other browsers have this. If you right click. And it should be something called inspect element. If you don't have it, then find out how to get it. Just press there. And then in my case, this window pops up. Okay. And uh, on this uh, left side, this is the whole code for the uh, for the website, and it's nothing to be afraid of. So we basically see here a herf a link probably powered by WordPress. So this means that we are we are at the correct place. And we, we can check this by, let's say I just write this. See, it changed. So this is our, our correct place. But there are no classes. But if we look above, there's a div class site info. And that's the class we want to remove. So if I just copy this, control copy, go into our custom CSS. So for a class, I do a dot, my class name, curly braces, and then display none and then we save CSS great we go back to our website let's refresh see it's gone there's no more probably powered by WordPress so that's the basically the way how it works uh, let's do the same with the search bar maybe we don't want the search bar it's, it's quite annoying too inspect element see so our input name uh, title here class search field so here's our class and guys, it's mostly going to be classes. It's, it's quite rarely the site the, the sites use uh, IDs. So classes is what you should expect to find. And we do the same. Display none. Wait, none. There we go. Great. Yes, let's save CSS. Let's refresh. And it's gone. And uh, let's just do another one because one has to do. Why? Why not? Do another one. Let's uh, maybe let's change the color of the uh, background here. So we do inspect element. Where is it? Here it is. 
article post la la la. So here we see it is a really long ID name, but it's always the first one. So it's this post one control copy. And also to make sure that we're doing the correct thing, we can scroll down here and we can find uh, let's see where it is. Nope, not that one. Well, it doesn't show right here, but let's try it out. Dot post one, and to change the color, you know, this you, you can find it easily on Google uh, codes to change stuff. But that's color blue. I know I'm going off topic, but I, I just want to show you guys uh, the power of this. And yeah, okay. Well, I changed the text. I was meant to change the background, but it's just a it's a matter of fact of looking around. And I know most people will say that you should make a uh, child theme because every time the uh, theme updates, uh, your all your custom CSS will remove. But not in this case because since this is, is on a plugin, this plugin will always save to the database. So it doesn't matter what happens to your theme, this is always going to be saved. It's always good just to copy paste this and put it on a document on your computer in case something happens. But it could be that uh, one day the theme has an update and like classes and, and ID change, change. then uh, of course these won't, uh, won't matter. But so now, now, uh, now I'll pause the video and I'll try to make the website completely white. So guys, here we go. Uh, not a lot added, I added uh, these two actually, entry title and uh, home. And let's check the website. It's completely gray there's literally nothing like literally nothing on the website so that's basically how you do it just remember it's, it's very simple and it's um, once you get it it doesn't get that confusing and yeah that's basically it uh, please ask questions if you don't understand or if I should clarify even further and also read the description because I'll also explain in the description and yeah have a nice day